10. At number 10, I picked Deadpool the game, the launch trailer. Now, it gave me a lot of laughs, it was a great cinematic trailer. Although the game in the end was repetitive and not as fun, the trailer did catch my eye. It was funny and unlike anything I've seen lately. And on top of that, come on, it's Deadpool. Nine. At number nine, I picked Portal 2. This was more of a fan favorite for me. That's probably why it's so in the list. Now, the cinematics didn't really show much of gameplay. Well, it actually did. But I was very excited when I saw this. Maybe want to play the game myself. And it's just an epic return of a series, I guess you could say. At number 8, I picked Saints Row the Third. This trailer made me buy the game, although I ended up regretting that this was an amazing trailer. The game overall has no replayability, but the trailer did show off how awesome it is. The game is fun throughout, it has funny games, and this is the serious side of it. Although Saints Row the Fourth will probably be much, much more. What's the word? Not serious. This showed a highlight of the series. Seven. At number seven, Hitman Absolution, the Ave Maria commercial. Now, I've never actually seen much opera songs being in game trailers, but this does really help show it off. Hitman Absolution overall was a fun game, and the cinematics are as good as this in game. The cinematics here was a really depressing scene, to be honest, but the game overall was fun and it has an amazing story. That's why I put it this high up on the list now. Six. At number 6, Battlefield 4, the 60 second TV spot that appeared before E3. Now this game I've pre-ordered because of the trailer. The song just goes so perfectly well with Battlefield. They made a very epic story, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how much better Battlefield is than Call of Duty or vice versa, they're both real good games in my opinion, but this trailer really showed off good cinematics. At number 5, Team Fortresses 2 Meet the Series is, 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 I guess. I couldn't pick one favorite. These were all funny and ridiculous and made me want to try the game. All of them showing great personality of the characters in the game. Uh, this one is Meet the Medic. Next one here is Meet the Spy. Very funny trailers. And lastly would be Meet the Pyro. I didn't show much highlights of Meet the Pyro, but this was all very funny. They want to play a series and they're great in the Four. At number 4, Star Wars The Old Republic Deceived trailer. Now I'm not much of a fan of this game, I kind of suck at it but I know a lot of people love this game. One of my cousins being included. But this trailer is one of the trailers you finally see the dark side win. I've never seen a trailer where the hero does not come triumphant or be faced the challenge but just overall the dark side wins. Portraying the fact that Sis can be played in this game. Also, the amazing war scene. This is a game that you have to try out at least after this trailer. I can resist. Three. At my number three spot, Batman Arkham Origins, the E3 announcement. Now this was a very long trailer, more of a movie. That's how it felt like. Great scene. They didn't show off much gameplay at all. But it did show how great the story could be with all of these amazing scenes and cutscenes. Up here you'll see probably Deathstroke. Very good game, I would guess. My brother already has it pre-ordered and I can't wait to play it myself.
two. At number two, Dead Island Riptide, the launch trailer. Now this was a real tearjerker. Tear I couldn't decide between the first Dead Island and this trailer. But this really shows passion in video games right here. You can't get much better than this, honestly. One. My number one spot does go to a fan favorite, Call of Duty Zombies, not the multiplayer mask, the zombies themselves. Each song really would come with a trailer and it would always captivate me and make me want to buy the map pack. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how amazing it is, but the trailers were an amazing thing. Now, game-wise, Call of Duty, the Battlefield, I'm not going to do that whole thing, but the trailers really, they're really great trailers. The trailers always give me goosebumps. And with the new trailers coming up and the map is coming to an end, I can't wait to see what comes up next. Until next time, this has been The Infinitive. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And thank you, YouTube.